Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmarov. I want to teach you how to bypass an element detection dumb error. In my case, I have a button that you can click and then this text appears. So this test finds the button and clicks on it and then a search for clicks text appears. If the button stays in the page, everything passes, everything is fine. But imagine in my application I have a code that removes the button from the page after one second. Well, the test clicks the button. Before the button is removed, it clicks almost immediately. So everything is fine. The test finishes, the button is removed, but by then the test is done. Now imagine the test actually, for some reason, waits for one second. So the click and the button removal happen pretty much at the same time. And now there is a race condition. Notice in this case, the button was removed just when the test was going to click on it. And we get this element is detached from DOM error. The best solution for this is to make sure that the test doesn't try to act while the application is doing something. If the application is about to re-render or remove elements or add elements, you probably want to wait for the page to finish doing that. But sometimes you don't. So what can you do in this case? Well, in this case, the button is still fine to click, right? Like even though it has been detached from its parent, if you click on it, it will still work. So maybe instead of using cyclic command that has all the built-in checks, like is the button visible, is it attached to its parent, is it part of a page, maybe instead we can just click on it using, for example, jQuery click. So here's how we will do it. We'll say then, and what we will get as parameter, we get the jQuery element. In this case, I'll call it button. And now, what can we do? Instead of clicking on it, right, as a Cypress command, we'll say button and then click, which is a jQuery way of clicking on the element. Now let's look at this. Now notice the button has been removed, but we still were able to click on it. And that's why the clicked handler, right, that the button had attached still fired. So this is one of the ways. If you're out of all other solutions to fight this flake, but can still help you.